For me, every time I witness and see the pictures of the mothers especially who are holding, forgive me, I have to just speak my truth right now, but holding these bags in which there are remnants of their children in it and they're hugging them and holding them for the last time or that very, very, mama bless him, that grandfather with his daughter or granddaughter, right? You saw it this past week, right? Ruh al ruh he kept going, the, the soul of my soul, right? Just wanting to see her eyes one last time or just wanting to hold her one last time, kiss her one last time, one last time, one last time. And it is so hard not to see your own self, your own children, your own niece, nephew, siblings, you know, directly in this. And that emotion, that connection, that feels so, so uh, like you're there, right? We have all these fancy mental health terms for what's happening, the kind of traumas we're experiencing even from a distance or from within the phone screen of you know, a vicarious trauma, like within, from, from afar. It is still a trauma, and if it allows you to remember Allah, to turn back to Allah, to thank Allah for what we have, every hug of every child, honestly, every hug, every hug, all I can think of are these children. Every time I hug my children, every hug. Forgive me, inshallah. <laughs> and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes in the hadith to the Prophet وسلم, how or the Prophet وسلم, explains how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is more merciful than even this mother to her child or this grandfather that we just saw Ruh, Ruh, right, holding his granddaughter. Allah is more merciful than that. When you can embody and see mercy embodied, then you have a sense of what is this mercy that we're talking about? What is the quality of it? What does it feel like? What does it look like? What is it? Right? Otherwise, it's very theoretical and kind of far. But then when you put it in actual examples, then you understand and see. Right?